Hey guys, Double Wide Six here. I got a small little four cycle engine. I think it's a three and a half Briggs and Stratton. Um, the complaint with this mo uh, engine is that it was blowing black smoke. I got the customer, I had a uh, replacement engine that was in nice shape, so I just put that on his mower. But uh, I'm going to take a look at this thing. I, I have a feeling the uh, piston scored up. And um, it doesn't have a broken connecting rod or anything, but it's just blowing a lot of smoke. So we're going to, whatever, we'll just take a look at it. Here's a look at the shroud of the Briggs and Stratton. You can see the number for the model is 93508. That's a five-digit model number. Just so you know, if you ever have to look up one of these older engines, you're going to have to put a zero in front of the first number to make it six digits. So that's a little tip to help you out. So I was looking at the date on this engine, and it's a 1981, which makes it a little over 30 years old. <coughs> and it's kind of amazing. The Briggs and Stratton engines haven't really changed that much. You can see this one has points, and that's all stayed nice and clean. This engine had a nice spark. Um, that's just, I guess, an antiquated system. And uh, if we look in here at the piston, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's, there's definitely some scoring here. And that's the problem. There's some scoring, so there's some oil getting by, the oil's getting burned, and then uh, I think the machine ran out of oil. So uh, it's pretty much shot. Other things that I noticed about this older engine that are kind of cool is that the uh, has an aluminum flywheel but one thing that's nice about it is it, it comes with the geared surface so this could be set up for electric start which will bolt right on this motor but this one had a pull start and also the uh, manifold in here this intake manifold this thing um, is now a Briggs and Stratton part that is completely plastic this one is made out of uh, looks like steel might be aluminum on the end and steel pipe so it's not gonna break and I know the plastic ones break all the time so that's some of the differences that I see with this engine and also in the code the first two numbers is the year so this one's an 81 and uh, this engine has points and I think roughly around like mid 80s uh, Briggs and Stratton switched over from having points and condensers in their engine to a magnetron system here's a starter from this engine these things I know are pretty hard to find and they cost about 50 bucks if you want to replace them so I'm definitely gonna hold on to this here's a look at the head and you can see just how much oil was getting past that piston and in fact the the mower was actually yellow and the you know the entire right side of the mower where the muffler was coming out was completely black you could just tell it was blowing oil well I broke everything down and if we take a look at our piston you can see this thing what's up butters is scored all up doesn't take a whole lot of scoring for that oil to get by and this thing's uh, completely scored going all the way around um, so that's what was wrong with this thing I think it just ran low on oil and uh, might have been getting a little hot um, if you look at the fan here the cooling fins they're pretty much stuffed up with oily greasy dirt and grass and stuff so you know you need to make sure you keep them clean as well I don't, I don't think it was uh, actually overheating but it was on its way to start overheating from the way that it was filled in there and I knocked some of it off um, here's a look at the gas tank and the uh, carburetor and um, 
I thought a lot of these older Briggs and Stratton's uh, had aluminum carburetors. This one happens to have a plastic one, so I'm a little bit surprised by that. Um, and the only other difference I really noticed with the carburetor is these older engines actually have an adjustment screw in there so you can adjust your fuel mixture. So that's kind of nice. Here's a look at the uh, points and condenser. Now this is contained underneath the flywheel and uh, the condenser, um, from what I understand, that's basically a capacitor and uh, the points are actually right here and what happens is when the flywheel turns and the crankshaft spins um, it opens up the points. So if you look closely you can see the points opening. What you'd want to do is uh, if you're setting your points uh, the distance in between the two points here should be I believe it's about twenty thousandths of an inch and uh, if you're having trouble getting spark what you can do is take some uh, emery cloth and lightly uh, you know sand any dirt off here so you, you get good contact and um, these engines you can actually remove these these wires that go to the points and uh, you can set them up for electronic ignition so if you have a coil from a newer mower um, you, you just hook it up to the spark plug and you don't even have to worry about these wires one of the wires goes up here to the uh, condenser and the other wire comes off the condenser and goes uh, basically to the kill switch on the engine when you shut down the engine. So to sum everything up, basically uh, there's not really that much of a difference between the uh, older bit Briggs and Stratton's and the newer ones. Um, the, the biggest thing that I really see is the from going from points to a coil, but basically the engines have pretty much stayed the same. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys know it, but uh, Briggs and Stratton, I think these guys were out of Wisconsin. They started out, I believe, in um, like the auto parts industry, and then they started making their uh, engines, and I think they, they started out with uh, cast iron engines for like things like refrigerators and washing machines, and then um, they also made generators, and then... I think from there the the war started, and uh, you know they were asked to uh, make more generators and things, and they got into um, aluminum engines, and because the aluminum engines were lightweight, uh, they were pretty much used after the war on lawn mowers because of how lightweight they were. So um, they've been making lawn mowers engines for a long time. So, anyhow, I'm Double Wide 6, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, learned a little bit about um, some of the newer and older Briggs and Strattons, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.